Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Supposedly Wonderful Future. Alright, let's talk to these guys now. Uh, anything else to not talk to them yet? Uh, let's talk to them. Name's Cadley. You're the Life Plus boy, I assume. You assume correct. What have we got here? I'm not exactly their boy. It is dangerous to assume anything in our line of work, partner. No, that would be the other guy. I'm Santa Claus. About time you showed up, Mr. Claus. That was a joke, you know. I go where I'm needed, and I'm needed where I go. Don't flatter yourself. Ouch. Okay, what are we looking at here? Well, I'm supposed to work together on this case with you and that kid over there, because obviously you need an international committee when somebody's feelings get hurt. The victim is sitting in the next room, but I've got a migraine just by talking to her, so if you want to do all the chatting, be my guest. Migraine? I, have, I get cluster headaches, okay? That's even worse than migraines. This guy doesn't know anything. I was, I was hoping for a more detailed description of the crime, and I assume you're just going to stand here, right? Who's the other guy? Not much to tell, the girl goes online one day to find all kind of fancy stuff posted under the, her name. Then her boss calls and says she's fired, corporate culture and all that bullshit. What? Really? R really? Like, you don't... Boss doesn't ask about it, doesn't actually call her in or anything, she just, just got fired? What kind of society is 2046, huh? I don't know if I want to live in that future. Then she goes, all self-pity blogs about suicidal thoughts, gets noticed, and we find ourselves here. What about the suspects? Some kind of internet friends. Apparently one of them had a crush on her, but she just told him to shove off. And right before this thing happened too. I say you identify this lover and we have our and we have our culprit. As simple as that, but you'll need the other kids to do that. I'm no good with your techie toys. And I assume you're just going to stand here, right? Got nothing better to do at the moment. I bet your boss won't be happy if you stand your way through the whole thing. Screw my boss, he hasn't paid me for the last month yet. Saber strikes our door our next door. Alright, smart ass, you win. When you need something real to have and ask me, I can grab my car, visit one of your suspects, and search their place upside down. Yes! Yes, I don't have to go anywhere. But I gotta keep reading. Just tell me what to look for. If it's there, I will find it. Cool! Can we just search everyone for everything and be on our way? I wish we could, but I have a limit of two warrants here. Two places to search. Then you fancy kids are on your own in this room. Oh no, I have to guess it right. For two? Good thing we got the save and a bunch of save slots. What about the arrest? Oh, I can do the honors all right. Tell me who to grab and then we can all go home. You can choose that random. For all I care, I have real cases to worry about. Who's the other guy? Another hired help. She says he's a hacker of some sort, but don't ask me. Ask him. You screen junkies are all the same to me. I will return. I can hardly wait. Oh, we're done with that guy. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, uh, you're cool, Desmond. You, you cool man. Cool glasses person. Cool guy. Gal. Hello, friend. You must be Michael, our boss for the day. I'm the boss? Not sure about the boss part. That I am. Seems like it. Not sure about the boss part. I am. Jackie is very specific about it, and I know better than to question that woman. I'm Sean, and I will be your assistant in all things online. Welcome to the Cyberbullying Investigation Unit. Cyberbullying Investigation Unit, really? Yeah, yeah, let's just get to the point. You mean when three fine gentlemen gather to unravel great mysteries in a gripping tale of conspiracy and deceit that is destined to become the, tale, the talk of legend for generations to come? Can't get any more real than that, my friend. Well, then let's get started. Just get the gripping tale going already. With pleasure. So the first thing you should probably do is to talk with the victim and hear her story. Her name is Ashley and she will tell you everything about her occupations and how this nasty in incident derailed each and every one of them. I wouldn't want to play a, messen a messenger here. What will I do? What I will do is present you with a list of suspects. Five persons each relates to Ashley. All evidence su suggests that one of them is our culprit. Wow. I also use Ashley's computer in the next rooms to set you up with a workstation. It should help to better understand the situation and, and conduct investigation. The rest we can discuss thoroughly after you talk with the girl. Sounds good with you? If she is in a rough shape at the moment, I don't have much experience dealing with suicide or otherwise mentally fragile people. Yeah, we did. We did that. We dealt with that other person yesterday. Are you are you kidding me? Did you forget already? You you fell asleep on a bed of, in 2046 and you forgot. This guy. I, I told this uh, victim she has suicide. Is this going to happen? Is this going to be a problem? Huh. Now 
Nothing to prevent you from talking, just please be nice to the lady. She's a sweet and bright girl, but she's still in a bit of emotional turmoil, as you might imagine. Alright, I'll go straight to our girl then. Okay, let's save now, because, you know, bad things gonna happen. Bad things always gonna happen. Let's create another save. Let's get out of here. Okay. 246 and bookshelves are used. Uh, books again. This is madness. Historic rec uh, recurrence is a ruthless thing indeed. Okay, I don't need to do anything else. Nothing else, guys. We're, we're going in there. Oh, that was it. Hold on, anything else to read? Anything? Oh, what's that? Remember to greet you with a short list of options. Personal profiles. It appears that Sean has compiled a short description of everyone related to the incident to give you a rough idea of what to expect. There are seven entries available. Oh my god! Carl. Carl Bryan, suspect A, 27, 1.85 meters, actor and occasional writer, study arts at the local university, happy to share his experience as long as it's being greatly appreciated. Good at perfecting little details and ignoring deadlines, likes classic literature and obscure art house films. Maintains the air of sophistication bordering on arrogance. Oh. Okay. Vivian. Like B, 24, lead actress alongside the victim. Takes method acting to its logical extreme by constantly impersonating various characters from her favorite fictional stories. Like sewing, cooking, and exploring the history of geek culture. Realizes her skill of master cosplayers to provide costumes and makeup for the entire production. Okay, she might be a suspect. She might be a suspect. Vivian. Alright, Daniel. Newcomer and ambivalent assistant. Absent minded but easygoing. Tries to study economics at the local university. Likes karaoke and late night parties. Enamored by jobs with benefits and corporate lifestyle. Harbors romantic feelings towards the victim, much to her discomfort. Okay. Maybe Daniel. Anne Marie Hill. That designer and the victim's childhood friend enjoys physical contact with reality, from drawing pen and paper sketches to building decorations. Keeps constant vigil over her head, her friends' well-being, and tries to protect her from stressing out. Sometimes to the point of stressing out herself. He has a strained relationship with suspect C. Oh my gosh! I have to write everything down. Suspect C and suspect D. E. Who suspect C again? Hold on. One, two, three. This suspect. Okay, so. Oh. Dan has a problem with Daniel. Oh my god, I gotta write this down. Oh, okay, hold on. Let, let, let me write this down, guys. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, don't like Daniel. All right, I, I wrote I wrote that down. Okay, Chloe, principal writer and an eccentric dreamer, studies electric engineer engineering at the local university. Considers the meat world inherently boring. Wants to relocate to the Antarctic. Antarctic. Enjoys the big ideas, brand transhumanistic values, and reality bending possibilities. Shows little interest in anything else, including the current incident. Okay, Ashley. Ashley Simmons, victim, lead actress and fans' favorite, doubles in as a team work work workhorse by always volunteering to do whatever needs to be done. Likes bold colors, interior design, and experiments with hair. Tends to trust people unconditionally, sometimes to de detriment. Subject to, subject to suspect sees awkwardness, awkward and inconsistent romantic attempts. Oh yeah, so that's yeah, it's Daniel. Uh, Chloe? Oh no, we did Chloe. Boyd. Director, director, manager, and cameraman tries to turn his passion project into profitable business with limited success. Likes beards, team building exercises, and the sense of camaraderie. Didn't make the list of suspects due to being the only one who didn't know the victim's account credentials. Okay. Well, that's it. So Daniel seems to be like a stalkerish kind of thing and friend didn't like it. I, I, feel, I feel like it's Vivian. I have a big feeling it's Vivian. Oh my gosh, there's more stuff. I forgot. 
are instant logs. These text blocks have been extracted from different online sources that shouldn't contain the original post and conversation that started the whole problem. There are four entries available. Okay. The, the show's new... Okay. Uh... Dear friends, let me start by saying how grateful I am to be a part of this wonderful community. It's always been my dream to put a smile on people's faces, but later did I know how real the stream would become. That was two years ago on that fateful day when my friend Boyd suggested we do a show together. I thought nothing of the sort. I didn't even dare to. But I said yes. Anyway. Anyway, and started an unforgettable journey. All this time you have supported me with unconditional love and I tried to give back the best I could. It's been an amazing ride, a life changing ride really, but all rides come to an end sooner or later and I think it's time to end mine. Oh, I don't, I don't think I'm better than him. I don't think so. Oh, you're just flattering me, Desmond. <laughs> I realize this message might come as a big surprise to you. You might ask why I have suddenly decided to quit something I've been enjoying so much. Something that you have been enjoying so much. It's hard to put into words, but the feeling's been there for quite some time. And you know I'm the only I'm the one who always trusts my intuition, even if I can't traditionally if I can't rationally explain it. As for the implications, let me assure that all necessary arrangements have been made and my leave won't compromise my quality or integrity of the content even though it's happening in the middle of the season i've warned my teammates about this decision well in advance and they've been working hard to alter the production accordingly the inspiring stories will continue to be told it will just happen without me thank you once again for your support and don't look back love ashley oh my gosh that was the first one. Oh no oh no my right, second one but what page, page down page up what Oh, oh no. Okay. Hello everyone. We'd like to make an appointment. Okay, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm drinking water first. Okay. I'd like to make an important announcement regarding the most recent entry to our news column. That entry was not written by Ashley. Somebody hacked into her account and posted it under her name. Ashley had no plans to leave the show and she never had. Yes, it sounds like Yes, it sounds just as weird as to us as it does to you, but it's true everything that was written in that post is a lie. Ashley is not quitting, no arrangements of any kind have been made, and we're and we're definitely not altering the production. Once again, Ashley had no plans to leave the show and she never had. We have no idea why would anyone do such a thing, and we are regretfully in no position to track the offender down. However, we managed to restore Ashley's account and took steps at ensuring its safety. No other harm was done and we continue to work on the future episodes right on schedule. We apologize to everyone who was confused or upset by this incident. None of this is Ashley's fault, but as a team, we'd like to acknowledge our responsibility for not taking security matters more seriously. This will not happen again. We also ask you to be empathic, em em empathic toward Ashley. Whoever did this, they most likely planned it as a psychological attack on her, so now would be a perfect time to show her your support. As for our side, we have zero doubts that the whole nasty occurrence will soon be a thing of the past. This community is amazing and it will take much more than this to throw us into disarray. All the best, Boyd and the rest of the team. Aw, that's alright Desmond. You being here watching, that's, that's all that matters. And that you're enjoying it. Thank you so much. The show's newsfeed, July 16, 2050, comment section. Harold Dunn, phew, that was the close one. I thought my favorite show was dead. Cheers for how you handled this, guys, even if it was a bit slow. Jim Christensen, don't worry, Ash, we love you. Uh, Ashley's support thread coming right up. I sure hope she's all right. It's always such an inspiration to see her on screen. Personally, I'd follow her anywhere and support any choice she makes, but if she stays, it's even better. She and the others have really good chemistry in this series. Haters gonna hate. I I say let them go and let the real fan fans stay. This community will will be even better after a little cleanup. Ashley, we, you are brilliant, and the fact that you are staying fills us with nothing but happiness. Keep spreading the love. Spread the love, just like my shirt says. We're always loved. Yeah. Walter Clark, why would anyone fake such a thing? Some, sounds like you guys just can't admit your actress messed this up. Nope, too late, we don't need you anymore. Lol, that was a cheap way to get more attention, you whore. The only attention on whore here is you jerk ass. See, that's the kind of thing, that's the kind of internet I miss these days. 
Any names that are... Nope, no, no names that I, that I recognize from the uh, suspects to this. Oh my gosh, page one to five. Hack the count, what is she, an undercover operative? Why does she have to be an undercover operative? Well, she doesn't, but she needs to be someone important. Do you realize how hard it is to do the hacking these days? No way somebody would spend mu such resources on an actress from a relatively small web show. Maybe somebody just had a lot of spare time on their hands. Yeah, and the brain of an absolute genius. The internet security has matured. It can't be compromised by bored kids anymore. I, I don't know how to feel about it. I like Ashley, but this explanation makes no sense. Sorry, guys. Hacking, psychological attack. I thought you I thought you were supposed to create drama in the show, not around it. All right, I was keeping it myself because howdy doody, Lore, Lore five one six. I didn't want to start the flame war, but now the cat is out of the bag anyway, so here goes Ashley. Please consider taking a break. You're amazing, but you've been driving yourself too hard, and it shows both on and off screen. Are you just trying to stir things up on purpose because it won't work? You know, we're tol we've tolerated your cutesy lead and her rabid fanbase for a long time, but sometimes it has to be done sooner or later, and considering her total lack of skills, quitting is the only real option. I concur. I'd recommend sending Ashley to an actual drama school, but I know for a fact that won't work either. What am I playing? I am playing Supposedly Wonderful Future. That, that is what I'm playing. Um... A lot of reading, a lot of reading. Apparently we got teleported, teleported to 2046 and we have to do these, these uh, detective stuff to help people. It's kind of weird and a lot of reading, a lot of reading. I drink all of this, I drink all of this, for just reading this. I'm still thirsty. Why does it always have to be about your precious Ashley? Why not consider how we feel? It was a psychological attack on us as well. As fans as well. We invest in your show. This, her resignation post hit me so hard. I was actually shaking. I can't believe I had such a reaction over a stupid web series. I'm getting too emotional for this shit. <sighs> so yeah. So right now we're we're in the second. We are in the second um puzzle, I guess. And someone was cyberbullying this girl. And we're trying to get to the bottom of it. So I'm reading everything. Just to make sure that I don't do the wrong thing. Good thing I got to save though. I can save forever. Uh, now why do we have to be so dramatic about this folks? Even if it's been going downhill. There's nothing a good long break in fist. Can't fix. Why should we quit forever? Oh thank you very much Laura. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. They'll lose most of the audience. There are so many alternatives. People will just forget about it. Move on to some other show. It's a very competitive environment. No break can fix such shitty acting. If you don't like it, don't watch it. No need to force other people to quit doing what they love. They owe you nothing. Actually, they do. We support the series with our time and money. We deserve to have a say. Have a saying in what direction it should go. Money? I didn't know this show was crowdfunded. I think he's talking about merch and subs only features. Don't even mention subs only features. Putting content behind the paywall has damaged their support more than bland acting could ever do. The only behind the scenes commentary and other little extras that are subscri subscri subscription only. I've, read, I've, I've been reading so much that like my, my words is so tough to just say now. Not unreasonable to try and get profit from something, is it? Anyone who calls Ashley's acting bland needs to get their eyes replaced and ears and brain. We're only, we're only three of five guys. We're only three of five this, of this comment section. It is bland. You should try to watch some serious, serious movies for a change. Being cute is not enough to be a good actress. Actress. Can someone explain why is everybody making such a fuss over it? Actors get changed all, all the time. Whether she's out or, out or not, they can always find another one. As long as nobody with a vision, director, writers leaves, the show will be fine. You stupid idiot, Ashley is the reason this show is still alive. I was asking for an explanation, not fanboyish hysteria. Don't ask stupid questions if you don't want to get stupid answers. The fact that... Ashley is the main driving force. It's clear to anyone who's bothered to look. Looks like fan voice is the only kind of fan she has. Oh boy. Oh great, another prima, prima donna is going to entertain herself with a string of final goodbyes and unexpected comebacks. I used to enjoy her acting, but the last months have been a disaster. Just do this community a favor and step down gracefully. This person gets it. That's exactly the kind of nonsense that splits good teams apart. They're making a big mistake covering, covering for her instead of just kicking her out. Oh, you love this game? Because I'm the one reading it, Desmond. I'm the one reading this. 
I can't believe so many people are actually driving Ashley away. I thought she was she was fans' favorite. What the WTF is wrong with the world today? There's nothing inherently strange with this sudden reaction. They simply got an incentive to say what's been on their minds for a long time. The society told us to be playing yet along with each other, so we keep. Oh my gosh, we're almost done. Uncomfortable things to ourselves until we just can't hide it anymore. Well, when you put it that way, still it's hard to believe. I personally don't like it either. I'd much rather we are honest and direct, but that's the world we live in. People avoid conflicts even when it's as simple as telling your favorite actress she lost her spark. It pains me to say this, but I agree that Ashley will be better off trying something new. The new season is okay, but it just doesn't have the same spark. I believe that she didn't write that post, what's the point in lying? But maybe it was a sign. I know, right? I know, I know right, Lord? We did, we did it! And then now to the next thing. Oh my gosh, one more. Oh. Wait, hold, hold on, what day is this? Oh, it's four days later. For the first time in a while, I have no idea what to write here. Words just aren't coming. I just, I think I just used to have the same problem a couple of years ago before the show started. Before I found my voice. Yep, you're correct, Lord. You, you have no idea how many, like how many paragraphs and like huge essays I've been reading. Oh my gosh, you, you, you will find out. You think you're not reading it? Or you're reading in your head, I mean, that's good. I'm reading out loud, I might throw it dying. I spent the day reading through my previous post. Funny, when I first decided to start a proper blog, I thought it needs to be very contemplative. Like old paper diaries, where young girls wrote about love and feelings and meaning of life and other deep, me uh, deep things they could discuss with no one but themselves. But when I look at the past six months of content, all I see is routine. Anne and I went shopping, going around with clothes. Chloe and Zoe came back, had a gym session together. Here's a funny book I read. You guys should try it too. Cody Noah and Ida with Boyd. Here's their photo shoot with Viv. She's my hero. Hey, we've released a new episode. Thank you guys so much for your support. Yay, meetings, hangouts, plans, projects. What a busy girl. You know that thing about finding my voice? That wasn't even a metaphor. I need to find my voice. Not some cheesy little extra you'd add just to make it sound more heartwarming and emotional. There wasn't a slightest doubt in my mind. I thoroughly convinced myself that this is it. This is my place in the universe. Some people dance, some are artists, some swim, some I entertain. I make someone's evening a little bit better, brighter. Give them more energy to face another day. And in the middle of all that, you, the viewers, the collective consciousness that links everyone, everything together make, makes it meaningful. Oh... It's just so hard to experience delayed failure. Normal failure is just fine by comparison, but when sorry it didn't work out, part is preceded by months and months of allegedly successful work. It's too confusing. You keep investing, you settle down in your new wonderful life, but then it all comes crashing down in the joy, the feelings of happiness. They are gone as well because it's all, it's all been inter interconnected in your brain. I prided myself on entertain, entertaining people with fiction, yet I completely fell apart when my own reality turned out to be fiction as well. How, how ironic. Or maybe the path of destiny that continues. Some places in the universe are just less grand than others. Who am I to deny mine? Just because it, it, it's got less fun. The people have spoken. They told me to quit. Only I don't know how to quit this and then start something else. Don't have the slightest ideas. Quitting everything altogether, on the other hand, that is something conceivable. Logical even? Perhaps this is exactly what I should do. Yeah, just, just a bit, Desmond. Yeah. I can, I can feel my voice starting to lose it, which is why I want to try and finish this so that when I when I do lose my voice, I don't have to greet you this ever again. <laughs> and I'm going to end this episode for a supposedly wonderful future. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. And don't forget to hit that bell too to get notifications. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!